Hi everyone, my name is Dmitry Kolosov. I am a business relationship manager at VAS Experts Company. In this video, I will tell you the latest updates of our new version of Stingray Series Gateway 12.4. We will talk about uh, session policing, defining traffic classes at the channel and subscriber level, VLAN level traffic processing control, VLAN mirroring, IPv4, IPv6 blacklisting, protocol updates and addition of new ones. And I will tell you about our future plans on 2024. Before we start, I want to remind you that a new version of SSG 12.4 is only for uh, VAS Experts operation system only, or CentOS uh, 8.5 plus. So if you don't know how to migrate from the latest version of CentOS, you can use our wiki uh, where it is a comprehensive uh, description about this migration. Or you can um, ask the question in our supper for, uh, to our supper team. Let me remind from which components SSG consists of. So we have two main engines, fast DPI, which consists of DPI, BNG, and CGNet models, fast PCRF, which is the um, proxy for communication through radios protocol with billing, uh, software router, DHCP server, we have also graphic user interface and quality of the experience analytics store uh, for traffic analysis. Here we come for uh, types of policing. What, how many we have and what can we do uh, in our system? So first one is a general common channel. Um, here you can see the slide where uh, um, SSG um, solution is described. We can see the common channel. This is the whole traffic which is passing through the system, which is not allocated to any other V channels. So whole traffic is coming, uh, passing through the system and uh, um, we can put policies on whole channel. Second channel policing type is V channel. So this is a traffic uh, that is described by a physical port pair or VLAN or CDR. Also, we have subscriber policing. This is a traffic for specific subscriber that is defined by a list of IP addresses or CDRs. So we can have we can have one subscriber like one user one IP, or one user like one login and multiple IPs. And recently, we added a new feature that is uh, named session uh, policing. So now we can do the traffic um, policing um, in session, which defined by a set of IP source port, IP destination port, TCP, UDP, and ISMP. Here we come to the service 18 session policing slide. Here we described um, example, how can we configure it is uh, in our file to limit YouTube, for example, uh, for three megabits outgoing traffic and three megabits incoming traffic. And I want to um, make the note that um, this feature required uh, more RAM uh, compared to the standard requirements. And uh, um, here is a description of configuration. Once we make this uh, setup, we need to um, make the um, SSG understandable format for this uh, through this utility. Um, as I said, so service 18 consists of two parts, like um, session policing and classes of reading. So here um, we describe the situation, how to override classes. Um, so we recently understood that eight classes are not enough and we need to expand it. So here is a solution. Um, in this uh, file, like protocols DCP, we assign the uh, three 
parameters like DNS in we put in CS0, default in CS5, BitTorrent in CS7 class. So default is the all traffic, which is not assigned to any other class. So when it is necessary to um, rewrite, like overwrite classes uh, to some other, for example, we would need to put speed test in class zero, DNS in class first, and uh, default would be in CS second. Uh, so what, where would be the BitTorrent? It would be in the default class because it is not assigned to any other. So uh, we also have such uh, parameters here, like drop, keep, and default. Drop is uh, when packets should not be transmitted further, uh, dropped. So keep is the priority value should not be changed. And uh, the default means for all other protocols. Also, uh, as in the previous slide, we should, um, we should uh, uh, put it in put this description in SSG understandable format through the utility. And uh, here we come for the management. How can we um, manage this um, service 18? So as it is consists of two um, parts, uh, session policing and classes of reading. We need firstly to create this service profile and put all required parameters here, then connect a service profile to subscriber or to the virtual channel. Uh, for more uh, detailed information, you can read our wiki uh, documentation or send the request to our support team and we will help you. Here we come to the new um, feature, updated feature, is IP FITOS field data format. And um, before we start, I want to remind what uh, do we have here? What is the TOS field? So TOS is cons consists of, um, uh, like this is a one byte, consists of eight bits. And here, uh, three bits, we have a three bits, uh, of the field of prioritize, of prioritize, where we have our eight classes and full DHCP field, which consists of six bytes. Previously, we could send only TOS, which uh, was changed by our DPI. So like how it works, um, how does it work like uh, in general? So we receive the traffic with mark, then change it and pass through. Or we have another way that we receive traffic without mark, then do marking, policing, and pass through. So uh, we can send the IP fix data in both formats, primary marks and overridden. Plus, we also have the opportunity to send three bytes or all six bytes DSCP field. DPI new protocols. Here we also uh, did uh, a big changes. And um, let me explain um, what protocols we have in our system. So we have two types, two big types, like general and customized protocol. General protocols are uh, consist of programmable and updatable uh, protocols, which are stored in our VAS Experts cloud database. And programmable is the protocols which are going with the system from the box. So once we install it, they are in our um, code. Also, we have a customized protocols, which you can create by yourself if we don't have, for example, in our database. So you can do it by SNI or IP and IP. We add uh, handling traffic by VLAN. So this feature helps to avoid problems with asymmetric traffic. Sometimes uh, we have incoming and outgoing traffics uh, come from different sites. So we need to send copy of both traffic uh, to, the plot, to the platform and hide one of the sources. Our software collect required data and establish the session uh, as it should be. So uh, this is the parameter to do this. 
or we can uh, also use uh, another ways of uh, handling traffic by VLANs is a uh, drop traffic without analysis from a specific VLAN by this experimental drop um, or just pass traffic without any analysis from a specific VLAN with the tech pass. Previously, we had um, service 12, now uh, which is a um, record to uh, the PCAP file. Now we can do both 12 and 17 services. And uh, here is example how you can assign it. And um, um, if you want to um, write mirroring uh, and, and PCAP, no. Previously, we had uh, service 12, and it was a record recording um, PCAP file. Now we can use 12 and 17 services both. So here is an example how we can configure the um, recordings. We have an update in service 4, blacklisting. Um, so previously, um, we uh, used to block by URL, SNI, CN, so whole domain URL, uh, IPv6, IPv4 with a port. And now we can uh, block it only for IPv6 or IPv4 and IPv6, IPv4 with prefix. And um, um, we added this blocking opportunity by IP without port and by IP prefix. Uh, blacklist is working for TCP traffic um, and has no impact on UDP traffic, but we can switch it in uh, by the in uh, the configuration file by this command UDP block three. So a value three uh, is recommended to protect a platform in case of DDoS attacks. Also, uh, we um, give the opportunity to block IPv6 traffic. Sometimes it's required. The process is the same. So we describe, we um, describe it in file. And if you want to uh, block UDP traffic as well, so we need to switch it on. We do many changes and sometimes don't update wiki on time. So next on Wiki, you will find like the beta 13 supports uh, port aggregation in leg by SSG tools, description of alias, short commands for brass administration, description of SNMP syslog monitoring, description of SSG integration via TACAX and AAA administrator, and description of new graphic user interface and quality of the experience feature. Uh, also for BNG uh, future planning, we are going to support a single session port for IPv6, IPv4, support uh, active, active and active standby redundancy scheme for BNG, uh, DHCP, volume and time quota support, creation of dynamic service interfaces, access points for dot one Q, Q and Q ranges with the ability to specify connection types for each range. Host lockout, limitation of authorization attempts, uh, using different radios groups for authentication. L3 VPN implementation, L2TP support, support with MPLS label-based routing, DLP protocol and segment routing. As per our DPI and NAT planning, we are going to support uh, for different prefixes length for IPv6, development of custom signature service, redirecting traffic according to certain criteria, for example, uh, DNS spoofing, uh, DSCP tag mapping, realization of ACL analog, and NAT64. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you have any requirement, any uh, question, uh, you're always welcome to send a request to sales or to our support team. Have a good day. Thank you.